Hi, I'm Jamie Kalb, an application engineer at Go Engineer, and in this video I'll show you how to import a DXF file to create a drawing template in SOLIDWORKS. I'll take you through what DXFs are, how to import them, and how to set up drawing sheet formats and templates. DXF is an acronym for Drawing Exchange Format, and it's a file type that comes from AutoCAD, intended for translating from native AutoCAD DWG files to other CAD programs. Longtime AutoCAD users may still have their title blocks stored in DXF format and want to use them in SOLIDWORKS drawings. This can be done by importing the DXF and using it to create a new sheet format. It's important to understand the distinction between a drawing template and a sheet format in SOLIDWORKS. A drawing template is the template for the entire document. Like a part template, it holds information like units and decimal places, all the things specified in the Document Properties section of the Options menu. Drawing templates also store properties that can be found by right-clicking in any blank space on the drawing and choosing Properties. This is where you can set the default view scale, first or third angle projection, and link to the sheet format. The sheet format is all the things you see on a blank drawing, the title block and borders. In order to set up your future drawings with the title block you want, you'll use both. You'll create a new sheet format with the title block, then save it into a drawing template. The first step is to import the old DXF title block. Simply open it from SOLIDWORKS like you would any other file. A wizard pops up to guide you through the import. On the first page, we want to create a new SOLIDWORKS drawing and convert to SOLIDWORKS entities, so I'll simply hit Next. On the second page, to create a sheet format, click Layers Selected for Sheet Format and make sure all the layers are checked, then hit Next. On the third and final page, we'll position the title block. First, make sure the import is using the correct units. If your DXF was made in millimeters, change that here. Then you can set the paper size you want, and finally choose a template to start from. You'll probably want to start from a blank template called Drawings, because the others already have title blocks on the paper. Finally, choose the position of your title block. You can position it in the center, enter X and Y positions, or simply drag and drop. When you're satisfied, hit Finish. The title block imported, but all the lines are white. This is typical of AutoCAD files where the background is black. To change this, we'll edit the title block by right-clicking anywhere on the paper and hitting Edit Sheet Format. Then if you right click in your title block and choose Change Layer, this icon will take you to the Layer Properties where you can change the color. This icon in the top right accepts the changes to the sheet format. Now we can save this drawing with our new sheet format as a drawing template so we can use it in the future. Go to File, Save As, and change the file type to Drawing Template .drwdot. You can save it into the templates folder so that the new template is referenced when you start a new part. The file path for the SOLIDWORKS default drawing templates folder is computer, local disk, program data, SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS 2015 or whatever year you're currently using, templates. You can also set up your own templates folder and add it to SOLIDWORKS' list of file locations to look for. This is probably a better idea since the default folder will be overwritten whenever SOLIDWORKS is reinstalled. To demonstrate, I'll create a folder called New Templates on my desktop and save the template there. Then go back into SOLIDWORKS and click on Options. On the System Options tab, click on File Locations, and under Document Templates, you'll see the list of locations SOLIDWORKS looks for these templates. To add our new location, click Add, and Browse to add it to the list. Now when I create a new drawing, the New Templates folder is available as a tab with our new template. You can create new drawings on this template, and edit the text field by right-clicking and choosing Edit Sheet Format, then double-clicking on the title block and choosing to edit it, then double-clicking on the text.
I hope this video has helped you set up your own drawing templates using imported DXF title blocks. Once again, I'm Jamie Kalb with Go Engineer, and this has been an introduction to importing DXF files as drawing sheet formats and templates in SolidWorks.